So we are here in Oregon for dog training for my boy Finny. My best friend started doing dog training and I'll tell you more about Finn later, but he basically just needs some training. He's two years old now and just started to um, react to other dogs, like mostly leash aggression and leash reactivity kind of stuff. But we just did the first lesson with him. So we're gonna do two lessons today. Uh, we did one this morning and now it's noon and then we're gonna do one later and then um, another one tomorrow. So hopefully he makes lots of progress. The biggest thing is if he starts to get worked up, mm -hmm. don't touch him, don't pat him, don't any sort of coddling. Even if it's not like, oh baby, you're okay. Any touching or telling him it's okay, I think it's not okay. Okay. I'm vineyard and I'm gonna have to feed Benny some lunch before we can go check into our Airbnb um, see how Finny reacts to these dogs but that little puppy I don't know if you can see that is new and then the other dog is the brother of Bianca's dog you look handsome in there good boy Lucky good boy <gasps> and like if that was Finn, I would never make Finn go to a dog he's uncomfortable with. Mm -hmm. Because that's not fair. Right. So if Lucky wants to go stand behind Janice, that's okay. He's he's making a choice that I might get into trouble over there. Good boy, Lucky. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. And now it's positive experience for both of us. Good boy, Lucky. Oh boy. He's, like, he's, huge. he's like those gonads are huge. And like right there where both <laughs> these two are a little uneasy, that's right. where I won't let them get nose to nose because if they crack their eye at the wrong direction they might react and then have that experience. And you want more positive experience. Good boy, Lucky. Come here, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, there's a nice dog. That's good. Good boy. Good job, Scout. Be nice. Scout, my we just finished the second lesson and now I'm going to head to the Airbnb. I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about how it all went once we get there. Want to say hi, Finnies? 
He loves it here. He's so happy. All right, you guys. So I feel like I look like a hot mess, but <sighs> tired. Lots of driving today, not a lot of food. Um, we are tired. So I just got to the Airbnb. He did so good. He's eating dinner now. We are tired. I'm very proud of him. Proud dog mama. He was able to be off leash with um, the shot collar, which was on a really low setting and he still was responding really well. Um, just being able to know when I'm actually communicating with him is basically what the shot collar offers and we've tried every other method. That's not what this video is about, but we've tried everything. But with a big dog who's like 150 plus pounds, you really kind of need something that can communicate with them from further distances. Yeah, it's helped a lot tremendously today. So we've only done two lessons so far, which is about two hours of training, but we split it up throughout the day so that he had a break in between. Um, he hasn't taken a nap all day. I'm sure he's gonna be pooped. He seemed like he had a lot of fun today because he got to meet some other dogs. And especially since COVID, he hasn't been able to communicate or socialize with other dogs in like a year besides Hallie when we got her. But it's just kind of sad because a lot of dogs I think are just declining in their training or just their social skills because they haven't been able to socialize with each other because the humans aren't socializing so the dogs aren't socializing. So anyway, we made a lot of progress today. I'm really excited about it. So we do have one more lesson tomorrow morning, which I will take you guys to, and then I'll probably do like a big recap at the end of this video to talk about everything. Right, buddy? Right, buddy? Come here. Do you wanna say hi? Oh, so much slobber. Come say hi, Stinkies. Come say hi. <laughs> okay, bed. Bed. That was not what he was supposed to do, but he did lay down, so <laughs> I'll take it. So anyway, um, I'll do a little tour if you guys are curious of this Airbnb. So we're in Portland right now. It's an old house and it is, smells like old things. It smells old, but um, it'll do the job and it's pet friendly. So whenever you pick pet friendly filter on Airbnb, you have very minimal options, but this one's cute. It looks cozy. It has a backyard, all of that. It's just a little stinky, but I think that's just because it's an old house, but I will show you guys. Anyway, you walk in and there's a living room and a dog and it's pretty nice and open. Oh, you didn't finish your food? dining room then there's this kitchen it's basically like a big circle this whole house so stove is over there there's backyard a little office space and then there's the bathroom basic I actually didn't even look it's like a walk-in shower oh whoa just kind of keeps going <laughs> interesting shower and then the bedroom over here so that is basically the tour. Finny, come. Good boy. Come. Good boy. He's even a lot more responsive since today. Bed. Good. It's a good doggy. Come. Good boy. Bed. Ah. Bed. Bed. Good boy. You're the goodest boy. Yes, you're the goodest boy ever.
e-collar already. Um, he's already not listening as well as he did out on the ranch, I think, because it's obviously his neighborhood. There's other dogs out here. It's a little more distracting and potentially he's feeling a little more, um, what's the word? Uh, gosh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Okay, we will try. Ah, sit. I'm going to try again. Not holding the leash makes me a little nervous, but I'm trying to pretend like I'm not nervous. <sighs> See if he listens. I'm just trying to walk away, make sure he stays. I'm not allowed to say stay anymore. I just told him to sit and he has to listen. Let's see if he listens. Finn, come. Good boy. Sit. Ah. Good. That was really good, bud. Finn, come. Good. Good. This looks so strange. <laughs> what? I've been vlogging forever. Been, I mean, I vlogged like <clears throat> a month ago. So, Garrett's here. If you guys remember him, this is my remember husband. Me? <laughs> you haven't seen him in forever. Um, life's been crazy, but we. this is closing out the video of training with Finn. And I wanted Garrett to be in this clip because he hasn't been in a video in ages. Mm -hmm. And secondly, to really nail that nail sent hit home hit home. What am I trying to say? I don't know. Like what to really to hit home or send home how different Finn is now. Like it's literally night and day. So mm -hmm. I'm just curious what your thoughts are on Finn. Well, I don't even remember life before training. Really, I mean, he was crazy, but. Um, he is literally a different dog like it's mind-blowing that we can just have him off leash like in public like around other people before if we took it off for a second he would just dart and he would take off and it's it's been crazy it but was terrifying it's a lot less stressful yeah. um, the training was amazing it was quick it was only a couple days and um, yeah, we're very thankful for it. He's literally a new dog. And so we could actually like enjoy life too. Do you That's remember how thing. walks were before? Very tough. He would pull because he's so strong and his neck is just massive. He's huge. And, and he gosh. would like, he got, so his like leash aggression, it's always a tongue twister saying that, but. Leash aggression. <laughs> aggression. <laughs> Leash aggression. Leash aggression. You have just have to think of it <laughs> two times. His leash aggression. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't even sound real. Uh, anyway, literally came out of nowhere. Like he was the sweet. I mean, he was. We we tried training him, but he was a pretty good dog. And then randomly, like, was so pissed at any other dog, and I think it was just COVID and not seeing other dogs very often. And yeah, started lunging and like bark growling, like. Rah! It was so stressful. Out of nowhere. Walks were the worst thing ever. And like, I think we became the people in the neighborhood that everyone avoided. Cause like, people would see Finn and walk the other way. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like now we're those people that no one wants to walk we're by. We're those people. <laughs> so it really got to a point where I was like, all right, we really need to take him to a trainer. And that's, it was like, it's mind boggling <clears throat> how different he is now. I don't think we can even like hit the nail on the head with that one. Yeah. <laughs> Look at little Hallie's. Hey, no, Hallie! I don't even think... Oh wait, no, we did have Hallie. Yeah. Anyway, Hallie's back here. Finn's she, over there. She's big now. She's six months old. He's loving life. Um, anyway, it's amazing. Like, our life is so different. And I will say, though, it doesn't always take just a couple days with your dogs. Bianca, my best friend that did the training, said that because Finn had a pretty good foundation, it was quicker. So it depends on how trained your dog is. They can... I'll put all the information down below if you guys are interested. They're amazing. I would 100% take every dog I own there. Like, I'm going to take Hallie there as soon as we can find some time in our life. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes they have to board and train your dog if they need more training. But life-changing. That's all we'll say. Finn's been such a good boy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Finny. Okay, well, now he's walking away. Finn. Finn. Come. Hi. He's so cute. <laughs> Hi, buddy. He's a brand new dog. He really, and I feel like really Finn has a better life Hi. because of it. Oh yeah, he's he so happy. Like he he's off leash at the park every single day. I take him every day now. 
Because I don't want him it. to. I don't want him to forget. And yeah, you'll get anyway. to run around. And <laughs> they're just <laughs> look at this little great dang sandwich. Uh, anyway, we're super happy with the results, and I'll put all the information down below. They have board and train as an option if you need that, or just like a one-time lesson. It depends on your dog. And that's all. So I forgot how to close our video because I've done it so long. That's pretty much it. So <laughs> if you like the video, like it. Like it. If you hate it, I don't care. And we don't care anymore. We don't care anymore. But, um, but thanks for watching. Yes. We appreciate it. <laughs> um, so we're flipping houses now. That's new with our lives. So if you're interested in that, follow TerrellHomeGroup.Design. That's where like house steps at. Mm -hmm. And you can follow Garrett at Garrett Chair Terrell. <laughs> at kidding. Garrett underscore Terrell. And hey Terrell on Instagram. And who knows when we'll be back. Okay. Okay, bye. We'll see you then. Thank you.